become a patron at www.patreon.com forward slash golden era bookworm for hard to find books, scans of rare photos and articles on the golden era of bodybuilding. Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. As many of you know, I have been researching much into the topic of the Bronze Era methods of training, focusing heavily on the light dumbbell system as advocated by Eugene Sandow and Professor Attila. And through my research, I have discovered that the light dumbbell system may have originated as an exercise system that was practiced by the ancient Greeks and later on by the Romans. This system appears to have been resurrected by the pioneers of physical culture later on between the 1500s to the mid 1800s. Today, I'd like to focus on some archaeological evidence that exists which points to the ancient origins of the light dumbbell system and begs the question, did the ancient Greeks invent the light dumbbell system? Enjoy. The halteres, which in some languages is still used to describe a dumbbell, was a type of ancient or progenitor dumbbell used in ancient Greece as shown in this photo from an exhibit in a museum. These small weights, uh, which weighed between 5 to 12 pounds, had handles that allowed an athlete to hold them and perform all sorts of athletic maneuvers. As ancient paintings demonstrate, these were used in early gymnasiums in ancient Greece by athletes and warriors. To quote the book, The Athletics of the Ancient World, written by E. Norman Gardiner in 1930, these halteres were used as jumping aids and for purposive drill. Now this statement of being used as a purposive or purposeful drill is what interests me the most because a drill signifies that a specific set of exercises or a system was in place using these light dumbbells. Now to quote E. Norman Gardner from his book from 1930, The Athletics of the Ancient World, the halteres was used as a jumping aid and here's a great image, uh, a drawing actually, most likely from an archaeological finding from for example a vase or something which shows an athlete using the halter is most likely to improve on his broad jump or on his long jump. And this uh, particular image comes from the Symposium of Ancient Greece, no, sorry, the Symposium of Ancient Greek Notions on Physical Activity. However, more curious to me is this image I found in E. Norman's Gardener's book, showing two boxers or warriors performing a light dumbbell drill. It is said that the light dumbbell system practiced in ancient Greece may have been performed to music like a flute. The drill was said to contain exercises that built the shoulders, arms and legs and included exercise, uh, sorry, exercises that involved bending and straightening the arms such as curling motions and extensions, lunging to build up the quadriceps and the hamstrings and bending and straightening of the trunk. So we're now involving the lower back, the hamstrings as well. So all of these exercises were, were included and it really does point to this purposeful drill that was used in ancient Greece using weights to build up the physique. Of further interest is that even back then, exercise and weight training may have been a pastime practiced by not just men, but by women too. The Romans adopted this practice of the light dumbbell system and in promoting physical culture, Roman women used the halter system of exercises to also trim and shape their physique, all in a tight clad bikini. Incredible. This goes to show that not too much has really changed in the last 2000 years. This mosaic from the ancient Roman villa Romana del Casale uh, from 286 to 305 AD from Sicily displays women exercising in, exercising in bikinis um, with the one on the far left using light dumbbells. I was just amazed when I found this on the internet. Um, truly amazing archaeological evidence pointing to the use of the light dumbbell system by everybody back then. And it's really a reflection of what's also of what also happened in the 1800s uh, when Sandow and Attila had popularized this 
everybody was also using it. So it's like history just literally repeated itself. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the light dumbbell system, I have several books on my website, www.goldenerabookroom.com, such as those written by Eugene Sandow, which are excellent in the explanation of the light dumbbell system for all, even uh, for kids, for women and men, especially the book Strength and How to Obtain It. It has a guide as to how to perform the light dumbbell system for all people, all genders, all age groups. There are also um, books such as, um, I'm, I've now, now started to upload books such as The Athletics of the Ancient World by E. Norman Gardner, written in 1930. If you are interested in the history of uh, physical culture, dating back all the way back to the Romans and the Greeks, then I highly recommend this book. There are also other books on strongmen such as The, Strong, the Strongest Man That Ever Lived, Louis Sir by George F. Jowett and The Amazing Samson all on my website, www.goldenerabookon.com. So I do hope you have enjoyed watching this video. My research into physical culture continues and I love talking about this stuff, looking at how far back physical culture truly goes. I mean, it's probably as old as time itself and I will continue covering this topic in later videos. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era book and leave me a comment and thank you for watching. If you'd like to support my research, please donate via PayPal. You can become a Patreon. You can visit my website for out-of-print books and courses on old-school bodybuilding and now on the history of physical culture itself as well. And you can always contact me via email for collaborations or to pass on memorabilia, books, um, or magazines, of course, on old-school bodybuilding. Once again, I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. This is the Golden Era Bookworm, leaving you with some awesome archaeological evidence of the use of the Haltidus in ancient Greece. Bye for now. And to take full advantage of my collaborations with NSP Nutrition and Old School Labs, you can visit their websites and, for example, use the code GB20 to get a 20% discount from all of NSP's products and use the code on the Old School Labs website, Bookworm12, to get 12% off their products. And for an entertaining look at the history of bodybuilding's supplement industry, I would highly recommend watching Subs the Movie, which I have collaborated in, available at Amazon Prime and Vimeo. I want to recommend this phenomenal book, Vince's Secret Locker, volume number two by Carl Coyne. I've been looking at this for about four weeks and I can't put it down. If you get a chance, check it out. He also has a part one that I, I highly recommend also. Uh, Vince was the trainer of the stars and had an amazing, interesting gym that today there's still not equipment like, uh, like it around. It was all made out of wood. Uh, he'll be on our radio show coming up probably in the next couple weeks or so. Have a great day, and again, highly recommend this book.